Hello from Whitefish, Montana. I want to go over a few squat ideas today. So you're going to take your feet a little wider than your hips and lower your booty right down in the middle. So I'll start from here. Your booty goes right down the middle. And if you're having trouble with this, you can just use a couple pillows or blocks to place them underneath your booty and have a little bit of support. I'm going to show it without. In general, your knees are going to line up with your second toe to keep the body alignment safe. You're also going to make sure you have still have an arch between the mouth of your big toe and your inner heel. One trick to get that arch is to lift up your toes while keeping your mound of your big toe down, your pinky mound, your inner heel and outer heel. Lift up your toes and you see how that activates a muscle called the tibialis posterior to give you an arch. And then you lower your feet down, your toes down, and you keep that arch. To add on, you can press your palms together and lower the palms. They might even separate until you feel a little stretch between your hands and up the forearms. And you're also gonna feel a little stretch in the pectineus, the inner thighs, maybe the lower back as it's gently flexed here, and these lower ankle muscles. So this is a gentle stretch that is so good for the body. It lines up all the bones in an open alignment and stretches the ankles and the feet, the hips, the inner thighs, and the low back. So this is a great place to start. Let's add on something else with this. If everything's going okay, you can take your left shin down and your right foot next to your left shin and lean forward. And as you lean forward, I'll show you from the side. Hi, come on in. I'm so glad you're here. You can add a little stretch that's going to help the back of the lower leg. I love the stretch. And just keep on leaning forward. Don't worry if your heel doesn't touch or if it does. What's more important is the internal cue that you have a gentle stretch or edge of mild discomfort stretch on the back of the lower leg. So you're leaning so far forward that you might do a somersault if you didn't have your hands. Relax through the stretch. Release. Some of you might even feel a stretch in this front shin on this uh, leg the toes are forward, but mostly you're going to feel it in the low back and in this lower leg. Now let's switch places. If you like to have fun with your yoga, you can switch uh, with a little cute lift or you can change it a little more gently. So lean forward. Your exhale is going to press your thigh down. Your toes are all forward. Don't worry if your heel's touching or not. What's more important is that you feel a gentle stretch on the back of the lower leg. Relax your shoulders. You're gonna feel your lower back here as well. So what we're doing too is if one leg is tighter than the other, this gives you a chance to isolate that and make sure that you're giving both legs attention. The, the, the squat that I showed earlier was just fine and this is a chance to get a little deeper and then release there, usually about 30 seconds or five cycles of inhale and exhale. It's gonna help release that body. And we'll take another inhale. And on your exhale, let's do another fun one. Let your left shin down, toes straight back. So you're sitting on your shins. If you need help with modification, you just stick some pillows under your booty. See if you can lift up your right shin. Your hands can help you. I'll show you from the side. Toes are straight back. Lift up your shin. And you see how that stretches the tibialis anterior, the front of the ankle, the eccentric digitorums. You're gonna pull your shoulder blades down the backs and let them just go. Hold that stretch. You can feel the top of the shins. This is great if you've been running up hills or doing something where you had to lift your toes a lot up a lot of stairs. And then let's take the other side. So you'll sit on your shins, that may be enough. Or if you can add on, lift up your other shin, maybe one or two hands. Shoulder blades are relaxed down the back. Feel the top of that shin, that tibialis interior. This is a great little series for squats. If you've had trouble, let's say shooting in low ports or gardening or getting low underneath your car, fixing something under the sink, these squats are great. Or if you have crap, calf cramps at night. So we are going to help prevent balance issues this way too. So you're gonna lower that down. The nice last little stretch I love to do when I'm down here in a squat posture, you can pop out of there and have fun with it. So let your feet get close together, let your knees get wide, and then you can just dive right down and wrap your hands behind your ankle or behind your lower back if you can reach and just relax your neck here. Your feet are on the ground if you can and hold here. We'll just relax. This is called Malasana. Five, four, three, two, 
and then come back out. I will come back to that first squat just to show you how good it feels now. Everything's been loosened up. I'm so glad that you joined me for this little squat stretch series. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next.